Greetings, trombonists at large. I am the Vagrant Trombone, and we are going to talk about something. This is the nib that I was waiting for for that pen that I talked about last time. This is a Fountain Pen Revolution Stainless Steel Ultraflex nib. Now, this nib is going to go into a pen, but the nib that actually goes in that pen is this one. This is a stub nib. That's normally what I would use in that tool pen. But for now, we are going to put it in this pen, which currently is housing this nib that we saw in the last video. This is not a, uh, a fountain pen nib. This is a zebra nib that I put in. I saw a guy in a video do it, and I thought, well, I'll give it a try and see how it works. And it did not really work out that well. A lot of problems. So I'll tell you about it in a minute. So I took that pen apart, and we're going to change this nib and replace it. But first, I had to, with this nib, but first I had to clean this feed. This feed was really messed up. I was using that carbon black ink in it, and it, the veins had gotten very clogged. The feed was a little clogged up. That's why the pen didn't run that well. Now, this ink usually does have some grit, but I've used it for years. The reason why it was worse is because if you look at this nib, it's not really shaped for this feed. It, there's a big gap in the back, and if you look at this, it rocks back and forth. And that creates too much airspace here at the front of the nib. See right in here, that causes the, the ink to dry out and grit up. And so it was a big problem to clean that up. That This nib actually goes in this nib holder or a handle here for my dip pen. This is a flex. See how that flexes? And uh, this nib is also a flex nib for fountain pen. It doesn't flex as much, but it doesn't need to. So let's start putting this on. As you see, there's a little feed that I had to clean out here that goes into a hole that creates the, the capillary action. And uh, we'll take this apart. This is the this is the section, this is the barrel, and inside is the piston converter. The piston converter is what holds the ink, and it's connected to a little nipple in here. And uh, it's how the ink transfers to this little tail, and then up the feed, and ultimately to the nib. So we're going to take a look at this. We're going to seat this nib on top of the feed, and we want it to sit nice and flat. We need it to be close to the end, but not so far up that it'll bump the paper. And you can see that this fits nice and flat, and that we should be able to get a good fit, and this will slip back into this as a flat spot right there, and you can fit that into the grip section, and we'll slide that in and get it underneath. You want to make sure that everything stays aligned so that nothing is out of adjustment. Once that looks pretty good, you grab something to protect your hands and the nib, and you can just push that back and ram at home. I know that this is uh, placed on correctly because I can see that tail in the center of the nipple here, and that the uh, feed is lined up with the slit in the tines so I can get good action and a good feed. And I'm going to reassemble this pen, and we'll We'll get some dye-based ink instead of the carbon ink, and we will get the same pen inked up. So uh, let's uh, let's do that now. I'm inking up this pen. This is J. Urban Pearl Noir is the color of this ink. This is a uh, this is a dye ink, so it shouldn't have the same caking problems that the carbon ink did, but it's not a permanent ink. But for just trying this pen out, it'll be fine. So here I want to just dab this and get the extra ink out. I'm even going to try to draw the ink out of the feed so that we get a uh, we get an accurate idea of how that feed is now functioning now that I've cleaned it out. So uh, let's put the barrel back together and we will uh, give this a try. And always remember to cap your pen so it won't roll away. And then cap your ink. So, my hands are a little dirty. Nothing new. It's fountain pen for you. So let's take this and uh, we'll try to get the ink running. And uh, this can sometimes be a bit of a challenge. So we will uh, take a look in there in the feed and see if there's any ink. And uh, simply tap it lightly on the paper and try to draw that out. Again, that capillary action will draw the ink up. So here you can see I'm getting the ink running. And I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to endure my terribly slow writing. This is the Fountain Pen Revolution Ultra Flex Nib. And I'm going to write out some symbols here to test out what kind of line variation I can get. You don't really need a lot of line variation, but using a flex nib is definitely faster 
than using the stub. And I used to use a flex with a dip pen because the flex nib options were very expensive back in the 80s for fountain pens. So it made the stub nib the only option in stainless steel. And uh, it looks like it's working just fine. The challenge now is to put it into the other pen. And we'll get to that in the next video. So thank you for watching.